Now, if you want to browse the web, you need a web browser. Now, most of you will be using Google Chrome. If you're not using Google Chrome, you're probably using Firefox. But there are actually many, many options out there. Today, I'm going to talk about Vivaldi browser as a possible alternative. So I'm going to talk about that in just a second. Stay tuned. Hey everyone, my name is Percy Jules and today we're going to take a look at the Vivaldi browser. Now the Vivaldi browser is actually a kind of fork of, of uh, Opera. The Opera browser is actually also being developed by some of the same people who worked on the Opera browser. So if you're used to using the Opera browser, the interface of Vivaldi will feel very familiar probably to you. Uh, it's just that the developers of Vivaldi have added some nice little features to this browser. Okay, let's first talk about appearances and let's start with the themes. Now, this browser out of the box comes with a few predefined themes. So the light theme, the subtle theme, Redmond, hot pink and so on. But you can actually also create your own custom themes. Now to do that, let's first click this little plus over here. This will create a copy of the currently active theme. So let's do that. And now we can just customize this copy. So let's first rename this to test. And now we can just customize the colors to whatever we want it to be. Okay, now this looks kind of horrible, but I think you get the idea. This is how you can create your own custom themes. Now, of course, you can also customize the background color or the background image. And also, you can determine where you want to position the tab bar. So do you want it on top, as is customary in most browsers, or do you want it on the left, on the right, or at the bottom? Okay, so as you can see, there's a lot you can change about the appearance of this browser. Okay, now let's talk about the side panel to the left. Again, if you're used to the Opera browser, this will also look a bit familiar. First, we have the bookmarks. As you can see, it's pretty uh, conveniently laid out. Um, by default, some bookmarks have already been selected for you, but obviously you can arrange it whichever way you want. Now, one nice little feature is that you can actually add any of these folders also to the speed dial, but we'll get to that in a minute. Now here we have your downloads and next is notes. You can actually take notes. Now to create a note, let's click this little plus over here and you can just start typing any text. You can also add a screenshot by clicking on this symbol right here. You can also select a portion of the screen and then take a screenshot of that. Also you can even attach a file from your computer like this. Um, and then for organization purposes, you might want to rename the note by right clicking and renaming it to give it a more appropriate title maybe. And you can also organize your notes in folders because if you click this symbol, it will create a folder for you. So this is a very good way of taking notes and saving them in your browser for whatever purpose you might have. Now here we have your browsing history and next is a very handy panel this is actually an overview of all the tabs you have open in this window. And if you right click, you can actually perform all kinds of actions right from this panel. Now you can also add your own web panels. Now the way to do that is either to click this little plus over here, then enter the URL of the website you want to add as a web panel and then click this plus, or you can just go to the website you want to add right click anywhere and add page to web panel. Now, let me first increase the width a little bit so you can see that I've just added Twitter as a web panel. Now, as you can imagine, this might be very useful uh, for, for instance, keeping up with certain uh, social media like Twitter or Facebook or Steemit or WhatsApp or whatever you want. Okay, now let's talk about speed dial. Now, whenever you open a new tab, this is where you'll go. Now, again, the developers have already selected a few bookmarks for you, but obviously this can be customized. Now, speed dial, as it, as it shows up here, is actually a folder that exists in your bookmarks. So to prove that, let's go back to the bookmarks and here is that folder. But as I mentioned just a few moments ago, any of these folders can be added to the speed dial. 
So let's take the next folder as an example. It's called technology. And if I go down here and tick this little box, now you will see that technology will also show up here in the speed dial. And if I go there, you will see all of the bookmarks that exist in that folder. So very, very useful. Now you can actually also create a folder from this screen and that's as easy as just clicking this little plus over here. Let's do that. Let's name it test. And if we go back to the bookmarks, you now will see that a folder called test exists. Now you actually don't have to use the sidebar to access your bookmarks. You can actually do it from right here. And in fact, if you do it from right here, it will go full screen and that will probably make it a bit easier to organize your bookmarks. And also you can access your history from here and doing it from here will give you a little bit more information than accessing it from the sidebar. Okay, now let's talk about tab management, because in my opinion, tab management is one of the most important things about a browser, especially the way I like to use the web, uh, because I tend to open an insane amount of tabs, so I need some organization. Now, Vivaldi has some nice little features built into it that can help with this a little bit. So the first thing, and I believe this isn't really unique, but it can still be very helpful, is you can save tabs as a session. Okay, so if you go to the menu and go to File, uh, you can go here to Save Open Tabs as, uh, as a Session. You can name it to whatever you want. You can choose if you want to save all your opened tabs or just the ones in the current window. Save it and whenever you want to go back to that session, you can just open it up again. Simple as that. Now another pretty nice feature is that you can, as they call it, stack your tabs. Now one way to do that is just to drag one of the tabs over another tab until that tab goes dark, release it, and now these two tabs are stacked. Now another way to do that is to select all of the tabs you want to include, then right click and select this option and now all of these tabs are stacked. Now this is a pretty good way to save a little bit of space and it's also a pretty good way to group some tabs together. Now one more thing I'd like to mention is that you can also tile tabs. So to do that let's first select in this case two tabs. Uh, right click and tile two tabs. Now, what we have now is in one window, we have open two tabs simultaneously. And as you can imagine, that might be pretty useful. Okay, so in conclusion. Now, I believe that yes, in regards to some aspects of this browser, there is still some room for improvement and enhancement. However, I can already say that I've been using this browser as my main browser for a while now, and I don't think that I will switch very soon. Now, choosing a browser is a very personal thing, and I know there are many options, many good options out there. I believe that this is becoming a pretty good alternative. So check it out for yourself. Anyway, this has been my take on the Vivaldi browser. Thank you for watching and I will talk to you soon.